Hello, this is Darla, a.k.a. Sugar May. Um, Sugar May is my uh, name for my items that I make. That's uh, my Etsy store is Sugar May Creations. And so you will see that a lot um, and hear a lot about Sugar May. <laughs> So I'm doing a relaunch today because I feel that uh, when I was doing my videos before, I was just rushing into them. My uh, videos were grainy or pixie, and I had to step back and kind of reevaluate uh, how I wanted my channel to look. and. This is a little mobile setup that my son helped me uh, put together. Uh, he's the technician behind everything. And uh, he also, you know, has taught me a lot about uh, terminologies for the Internet. Uh, you know, like I'm an immigrant to the Internet. And, uh, you know, my grandkids... They're more a native to the internet. You know, they were born right into this technology. And my son, he's kind of like halfway. You know, he wasn't really born into it, but he was there at an early age that he can comprehend it all. You know, for us people, sometimes it's a little harder to comprehend, um, you know, all this technology. And I thought YouTube was a, a great tool. Now, at first, uh, when my son told me about YouTube and how it worked and everything, uh, it wasn't like I was hesitant to use it, but I just uh, didn't feel a, a use for YouTube to look up items or find out about different situations or ask questions. Uh, and it wasn't until um, I was looking for a wig to go to the Renaissance Fair. My sister and I, we've been going probably 10 plus years, and we dress in uh, period costumes. And um, I, we were going to go as pirates. This was 2019. And um, I was in search of a wig, a red wig. So I go on my YouTube and I start searching. Now I was a buyer in my last job, so I kind of know how to research. So I was researching and the first person that I seen or really caught my eye was Elaine Jackson. And she um, had a couple key words one was cheap Amazon, which I was familiar with Amazon, and of course I wanted cheap. And she had uh, red hair, short red hair. And probably about two years prior to that, my hair was bright red and short. And uh, I thought, okay, I always uh, gravitate to people, women that have a different color in their hair, you know, whether it's purple or blue, uh, because I, I feel like to put a color in your hair like that, you got to kind of be fun and enjoy yourself. So that's why I kind of gravitate to them, because uh, I'm one that would put red in my hair or purple or blue, you know. So, um, so she taught me about the Amazon wigs, and uh, I ended up buying a long, red, cheap Amazon wig that was perfect for my pirate costume. That's kind of how I started on my journey. Um, this little number I got on my head today is uh, Rosa Star. She was the first wig that I purchased to uh, kind of wear, you know, out and, and about. She was a cheap wig, but I like this style. This is a style that I would have wore, you know, had my hair cut into. Um, I would have had it probably red, but 
you know, we'll deal with the, you know, blonde, the blonde's nice. And uh, I thought, this is great. So when I first um, got my wig, you know, you're really nervous about actually showing people how you look in a wig. So I uh, went on Facebook and I said, I'm going to post a picture with my hair. And I did. And um, I didn't tell nobody it was a wig. I just said, oh, this is my new hair. And family members, and you know family members are your worst critics. They'll tell you if it looks bad, they'll, they'll tell you. So, um, you know, they were all like, wow, you got your hair cut? Where'd you get your hair cut at? Or, you know, who did your hair? And so they all thought it was my hair. And I kind of got all my compliments I needed, and then I told them, no, this is a wig. Some were like, wow, that's a wig, you know. But I, uh, after that, that, that's kind of the history of it, you know. Now, 19 wigs later, oh, I've got different colors and different styles, uh, I think, uh, to help, you know, women in their process. Uh, you know, uh, I wanted my channel to be about fashion, women, and, um, you know, makeup and hair and uh, how we feel about ourselves. I, I want a channel that's going to be um, comfortable for women to express themselves and, and find tips and, you know, because we all go through things differently. But then there's a lot of us that go through the same things. And so I think we can all help each other. And that was one of the things that strived me to uh, have a YouTube channel was to uh, put my thoughts and feelings out here and my tips and, uh, you know, maybe I can help somebody along the way. And plus have fun. I love to have fun and, you know, life is just too short not to, so... Uh, uh, so that was kind of how I got started in my wig journey and how I uh, got YouTube friends. You know, Elaine, she's also my Mary Kay uh, lady, and uh, she also has a Facebook page for uh, wigs, and she does her Mary Kay on there, and She'll review wigs on there. She'll sell wigs on there. So it's a fun uh, page to go on and, you know, talk about our experiences or just have the support of a female community uh, to help us, you know, kind of get through life, you know. <laughs> so I uh, consider Elaine uh, a friend. And, um, you know, I followed her for like two years uh, and still follow her but it's been probably a, a good two years when I first started uh, following her and uh, the second thing I wanted to uh, tell you about my channel is that you know I'm an arts and crafts girl so my um, I just started a Etsy store Etsy Etsy store and I'll put these links down below I'll put Elaine's link and I'll put my Etsy store link down below and um, right now I'm selling uh, I've got a couple objects here in the background that you kind of see but uh, I've taken I'm taking sound objects and recreating them into uh, vases or vessels. I mean, you can put anything in it. <clears throat> you can put candles in some of these. You can uh, put foliage or you could just leave them as is as a decorative piece on a shelf or whatever, you know. Um, and I enjoy doing my arts and crafts. And I'm an arts and crafts person. I wouldn't say I specialize in one area. I uh, 
kind of cover all arts and crafts. You know, I crochet, I, you know, uh, paint, I do clay, I've done jewelry, candles, I've done soap. I, uh, I also, you know, have practiced aromatherapy for years. So a lot of, I, I call them, and my family calls them little potions. You know, I make potions. Uh, uh, aromatherapy so um, yeah I've done I do anything that involves arts and crafts to me and a goal that I had at one point was to do arts and crafts and sell them and that was going to be my retirement uh, job and or hobby make a little money you know so I could save up and go on trips or you know, spas or whatever I wanted, you know, just a little money, uh, <clears throat> you know, on the side is always nice to have. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of situations happen through life that, uh, you know, kind of puts stuff on a hold, stop stuff. And so, uh, you know, things had to be redirected. And then we had the pandemic and it seemed like, you know, nothing we couldn't do anything then you know we were kind of stuck in the house and that's when I kind of was saying oh you know I need to do my videos you know I got time on my hand where I'm not really doing nothing and can't really go nowhere and so I, I've thrown a few uh, videos out there uh, and of course you know I look at them and I think they're so goofy but uh, you know, that's what we do. That's how you learn. You know, practice makes perfect, right? So that's another uh, part of my uh, YouTube channel is that, you know, fashion, women, uh, hair, makeup, you know, nails, whatever fashion includes. And then my arts and crafts. Uh, but it also just include uh, maybe talk topics about women or uh, different things we could do to help each other or how we're going through things. So I wanted to be a platform to have fun, to be informative and, you know, uh, and to continue on. I also think it's a great tool for yourself, for your own family. Like I have great grandbabies. And, uh, you know, my great-grandbaby, she's like six now. Um, she lives in a different state. I don't see her that much. She's, she probably, she don't even know me, you know. When I did see her, she was a baby. The pandemic hit. Uh, you know, we couldn't really travel. So, making YouTubes, to me, also preserves my thoughts, how I look, uh, what I do, uh, what I enjoy, that, you know, maybe one day, you know, she could look at these and say, oh, that's my great grandma, you know, I didn't know her, I wasn't around her, but I feel like I know her from the videos, you know, and so that's kind of another uh, step, I think, for uh, having a YouTube channel. And plus, did I say have fun? You should always have fun and, um, you know, make light of things uh, and support, support each other. But, uh, I'm sorry, my eyes, you know, water. <laughs> I have these, I swear, since the pandemic happened, I have been uh, a mess. I don't know if all this stuff that's out there in the air, it just really affects me. And um, sometimes it's kind of hard to wear makeup because of the way, you know, my eyes water, that I go outside and I sweat, and, you know, it's terrible. It's, it, it's just so, so terrible. But um, I just wanted to... Uh, put my YouTube out there so everybody can 
kind of see what I'm about. Uh, I plan on, uh, if God willing, every Friday I will post something. Uh, have a little narrative, maybe, um, you know, you don't know. I do genealogy. I, I do my family tree so far. I haven't done anybody else's tree, but I've learned a lot about genealogy. Um, I may have a, a session on that, uh, or I may talk about aromatherapy, or we may talk about doing different crafts. Uh, I'm going to be getting ready for the Renaissance uh, they, they're going to have it this year in October, and um, I think I'm going to be like Mother Nature. <clears throat> we kind of uh, went before, my sister and I, uh, as Mother Nature, or I don't know what you call it, fairies, wood fairies. Um, and it, you know, even though the Renaissance out here is in October, it is, the sun in the desert is always hot. <laughs> you know, if you're in the shade, that's the only way you know it's winter time. But in winter, you go out in the sun, that sun beats on you, it's still hot. So when they have the Renaissance, it's in a park, and uh, there's not a whole lot of shade. You're out there in the sun. So we found out that we have to have, since we're older now, <laughs> We uh, have to have comfortable, breathable clothing on for us to get through the heat and not pass out out there. So I'm going to be working on a costume uh, for me and my sister. It will be consisted of uh, a ring of flowers on our head. Uh, I did do have a human hair wig. Uh, that I would probably braid and maybe even color with some purple or blue on there. Uh, purple is my favorite color, so I would love to have some purple in that. that it's a black wig. And to use that as my fairy hair. I'll probably put a big braid or a braid on, on one side. I'll put my flower wreath on top. And I'm trying to design uh, my clothing. Uh, my sister, she always joked about that I got my whole costume out of my closet for the Renaissance Fair. I usually didn't have to buy anything. <laughs> I would, because I would have those kind of clothing, you know, a peasant skirt, a vest, a blouse, a, you know, blouse that had big puffy sleeves on it. So I had odds and ends that I could throw together to make an outfit for the Renaissance. And that's the same thing I'm doing now. I'm just kind of taking what I got and seeing I, how I can transform that into uh, an outfit. And I'll be posting that as I do that along the way. Uh, and uh, as my arts and crafts, like I said, I got my Etsy store. I finally got it up and running. I will probably be putting new items on weekly, sometimes maybe two items in a week. Uh, it takes a little, not, not a whole lot of time, but it takes a little time, you know, you've got to search for things. Um, you know, I go to the thrift stores, find objects, and then uh, with YouTube, you know, I can say, hey, how can I transform this? What could I do to make this look better or put my twist on it? And as you can see, I've got uh, like this little vase here. This is a little vase I made and it's uh, textured with sand. And this was a little vase I got at the thrift store. And it, it's a heavy vase, but this is a nice little decorative uh, item to put on a shelf. These is like little ecoluc I can't even say it. I'd have to practice to say what this little plant is supposed to be. But these are this is the kind of work that I am doing right now, transforming uh, glass objects into you know little vases that I like.
This is another little creation I made. Um, and I love these little crazy balls in here against a matte black. This is matte. I, I know it looks shiny on here, but that's just because of the light. But it's matte. Uh, I got a little footstool on there. You can see that. And I think this is just great to put, you know, to decorate on your table or in the hallway. Now, when I sell these, I don't really sell them with the foliage. And, and the reason I don't, you know, my son was like, you don't sell the foliage with it? But I said, well, I may like these little white balls. Somebody else may not. And I don't want, I'm selling, I'm selling the vessel pretty much. I put the foliage in there so you can see how to uh, maybe decorate it. But in this large one, you could even put a, a tall candle in there um, and, and have that, you know, over the top showing. And that would be, that would be real nice. So I don't want to force people to say, oh, you got to have this flower or this, you know, leaves in this vessel. And you might not like, like that. You may want some sunflowers in there or lavender in there. Or these are glass. You can surely put, you know, uh, water and put a plant in there, you know. Uh, you can't really drill holes in them, but if you wanted to put, uh, you know, a, a plant in there, you surely could. Uh, charcoal, putting charcoal at the bottom. Rocks at the bottom will help absorb that water so your plant's not set near water. So uh, that's why if you wanted to buy the foliage, I, you know, that's a separate price. But uh, because your, your taste might be different than mine. You might like the vessel, but you don't like that plant in there. So I don't want you to, you know, think you're obligated to that plant and you take it and then you just toss in the plant to the side. Because obviously I feel like they're cool plants. That doesn't mean you do. So hopefully everybody, uh, you know, you will subscribe uh, to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Or give me a like, uh, give me a comment, tell me what you think about this video or what you uh, like to see in a video. You know, I have done wig reviews. Um, I've checked out makeup. Um, and of course, you know, I've got the older eye. It's kind of, um, you know, droopy and, you know, I got this here. This is my, my chin. This is my neck now, you know. And uh, I'm a plus-size woman now. You know, I'm older. I've got gray hair. And uh, I think, you know, we need, we need that support from each other as we go through these changes in our life. But uh, these are also earrings that, uh, let me see if I can show you. These are little earrings I made. Uh, this is a sample of some of my work that I do. Little drop earrings, and uh, you know I love earrings. I love I love stones, stones, uh, rocks. You know I always collect rocks. I went to Scotland and I collected. I had to bring home a rock. You know my my brother was making fun of me. Everywhere you go, you bring home rocks. But I just feel that rocks ground you. That's the word I was looking for. You know, they, they kind of ground you uh, because that's what our earth is made of, rocks. And I really uh, enjoy the rocks. My grandson, we collected rocks. Now he's, you know, in his 20s now, but we used to share our rocks. I would send him rocks, and he would always show me his rock display. And um, my other grandson, who's eight now, He's a rock collector, too. He's a nature person, kind of like I, like I am. So that's kind of fun. We share rocks and stuff. He's probably like, oh, my God, my grandma, she likes rocks. And <laughs> I have them in jars. I don't know. I just love them. So 
anytime I can, uh, you know, I'll make my jewelry. And so I'll be putting some of my pieces of jewelry on my Etsy. Uh, since I just got it up, my Etsy store, uh, it's the name of it, Sugar Made Creations. And uh, so hopefully every week I can add stuff to it, uh, you know, and get my uh, inventory built up and my library uh, built up so I can start getting this into, you know, uh, a pattern <laughs> so I can load things and sell them. You know, it's a lot of work. I, I give a lot of credit to uh, these women that I have followed, you know, to, it's a lot of work putting up a YouTube video and, you know, just doing this little setup right here. You know, it, it took work to have the light knocked out so it wasn't too bright to have, you know, things, you know, just a little area showing, uh, my light source. So, you know, when one person is doing it, you know, I had help today, but, uh, you know, if one person is doing it, it's a lot of work. And then not only that, once you get your video, you uh, have to have it edited and, you know, your bloopers taken out and um, shortened or cleaned up or things added to it. So, but I think it's a very good tool and I am looking forward to being a YouTube uh, personality that people will come and look for me and that we could all share together. So with that, I think I'm going to end this. It's, I've got almost uh, half an hour talking about myself. So, But I hope everybody enjoys uh, my channel and we'll have a lot more fun things. I'll be putting things out. I just kind of wanted to introduce myself and... Uh, let you know how I came to this point, why I'm doing this, and, uh, you know, if you feel the same way, if you want to see what's going to happen or what I'm going to have on my channel, I hope you come back and uh, look for me. So, in until we meet again, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.